Hi there, today I'm gonna to show you how to curl short hair using the Beach Waver Automatic Curling Iron. Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you how to use the Beach Waver today. I'm not gonna go over all the specifics and logistics because I did that in my earlier review. I'm just gonna get straight to it and show you how to curl short hair using the Beach Waver Curling Iron. The first thing I always reach for is a hairspray that is pliable. It's uh, got a soft hold so that you're not ending up with crispy, crunchy waves. This is the Garnier Fructis Volume Hairspray. It is a level three out of five for hold. I love the way it smells, and I love that my hair, I can still move it, and I can still style it, but it just helps your hair hold the curl a lot better. I'm gonna stick that over there. And I usually start on the left hand side when I'm curling, you're gonna curl your curls away from you. So on this side I'm turning it this way, and on that side it's gonna go to the right. So it'll go left on that side, right on this side. And I will say it's a little tricky and takes a little practice when you're using this. I end up going the wrong way a lot until I get the hang of it. But you're just gonna stick the end of your hair in this little clampy doodad and kind of twirl away. There's a right and a left and you can make it go fast or slow. So I'm just gonna go slow for today so you guys can see what it looks like. And I generally don't curl my entire head from top to bottom. I usually just curl the top, I do a loose curl, and then I shake it out. It kinda gives me a wavy, beachy look instead of a super curly look. The other thing that I make sure to do is leave the ends straight so that I don't end up looking like a soccer mom. You know, even though I'm maybe. So I take about an inch and a half of hair and I'm taking that top layer I'm gonna clamp the end into the beach waver oh there we go and I'm just gonna twist it up I'm gonna hold it for like a three count one two three and I'm gonna let that go and you can see it's a nice loose curl right here and the end stayed nice and straight because I had it held in that little clamp so again, taking about an inch section, and I'm just taking the top. You can see this hair down here is still straight. I'm just gonna make a quick beach wave. And again, I leave about an inch and a half to two inches out, put it in the clamp, hold it straight up and down, and let it do the magic. Hold for a three count. One, two, and three. And I'm gonna let that down. So you can see it gives a really nice curl. It's not like a super tight Suzy Q Shirley Temple curl. If you wanted that, you'd get the smaller iron. This is the one inch iron that I'm using. They have a smaller iron and a bigger iron. So I think they have a 0.75 and a 1.25 barrel. This is the one inch barrel. And then let that go. And you can see it gives it just a really nice wave at the bottom. And you continue to do that all the way around. One thing I'll tell you is that there is a home button that if you end up halfway through your curl, you click the home button, it'll return it home. So just be careful not to do that while your hair is in it. Sometimes I accidentally get my finger on it and it will spin it around unexpectedly. So just watch out for that. the left side of my head I went all the way around to the very back and just did loose waves. Now what I do on the other side I just need to make sure that I'm pushing the button that's on the right to take my curls away from my face. Over here I was pushing the left hand side to take it away. You just need to make sure that you're switching your button so your curls go the right way. Okay, so I finished curling all the way around my hair, and I'm gonna hit it with the hairspray one more time before I break up the curls. 
just to help it hold just a little bit. I have heard people say that have long hair that they will curl their hair with this and it will last for days. I happen to have really, okay, I have problematic hair. Let's just say that. It's frizzy, it's wavy, it's not really pretty and straight. I can't let it just air dry. It ends up just looking a mess. So I have to flat iron my hair, which causes a problem when you then go to try and curl it because the hair really wants to stay straight. I have found that with this, my hair will stay curly. Um, so I haven't had a problem with it with this curling iron. With the wand, sometimes by the end of the day or a couple hours into the day, I have um, just kind of wavy hair. It's not really curled anymore. With the Beach Waver, I do get a little bit longer wear. However, um, some girls rave about being able to have their long hair stay curly for a couple of days. So it just depends on how your hair behaves. Now that I have it sprayed, I'm just gonna shake it out with my fingers. And I'm not even gonna brush it. I just shake it out and then I've got a really nice loose beachy wave. I didn't even have to curl the underneath side. And I'm just gonna curl this front piece just a little bit higher since it's kind of straight and heavy right there. And I will tell you that I haven't used this in the past couple months and I'm actually liking it a lot right now. I think I'm gonna add it back into my daily curling. When I first tried it, I had a little bit shorter hair and it was really, really layered. So I'm liking it on my longer um, blunt cut blob, a lot blob. <laughs> my longer blunt cut bob. Woo, that was a mouthful. There we go. So just a little bit more volume and body in the front. Here's what my hair looks like after curling with the Beach Waver. It took me, gosh, maybe five minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Grab it on Amazon or at Ulta. Sephora, I think, has them as well. You might be able to go to beachwaver.com, but grab a Beach Waver. If anything, it's just fun to play with. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye.